Well, let's do a few things here. Number one, I believe what you're describing as a realist is a fatalist in the terms of the play. Only a uh, damn lighters! I hate them. Got to use a lighter to light a lighter. Anyway. What you described there is a fatalist, not a realist. <coughs> the worst possible thing will occur. And it appeals to the basis nature of humanity. Hopefully we're um, evolving beyond that. But it's a long, slow process. And uh, it takes time. Humans, as we know them, have only been on this planet for 60,000 years. Recorded history is something like maybe 6,000 years, although there's some indication in parts of India it may go back as far as 10,000 years. So, 50,000 years of programming before that takes a long time to overcome. Be that as it may. Taximony is a good thing in scientific terms. When you put it, when the average human being uses it, it's not such a good thing. Because it's not being used for scientific purposes. It's being used to slap a label on somebody and that label can be quite negative. I mean, if I go by people who post it to me, I have a great many haters out there who say, um, a Jewish sympathizing Nazi fag. <laughs> go figure. <sighs> but that's the label they chose to slap on me. I don't care. I laugh at them. And these days, the haters, I mean, I get plenty of haters say, I'm fat. I just tossed them off a comment going, I am? Well, thanks for telling me. I hadn't realized until you spoke up. I couldn't see the painfully obvious. Then there's People who call me different things, I take the, the language and go for the real meaning of the word and just slap them with it instead of letting the slang take place. Now, you may be an idealist. I'd say rather you have ideals and things you aspire to have happen. And having ideals is a good thing viewing things as being 100% right, it's taking an extremist view. And yes, idealism can be extreme, but uh, I've lost my point. Michael Ironside got his face fried in Volcano, New York City. But Where was I? Ideals. Having ideals is a good thing. Wearing rose-colored glasses is a bad thing. There's a difference between the two. I think you're bright enough to realize that difference. I'm a realist, okay? I don't mindlessly bitch at everything that's going on because that's a pointless exercise. I do suggest changes that could be made. I vet my opinions. I realize that 
not everything is rainbows. But I realize that man aspires for everything to be rainbows, if that makes any sense. I hope it does. We'll find out in time. <laughs> but <clears throat> not everything is black and white. You have to have, remember everything is shades of gray. And you're just too dang young to be bitter over crap. I got 30 years on you and I'm not bitter. Come on, girl. And don't give up coffee. Coffee is life's blood. There is no life without coffee. I know this. I drink lots of coffee. See my coffee mug? Man, I drink my coffee black, no sugar, no cream. So I never bother to wash my mug. Which may sound really gross, but hell. If I ever get desperate, I don't have any coffee nearby, I can always just pour a whole lot of hot water in here and get coffee out of it. <laughs> Sick and twisted, I know. Grody to the max, for sure. That's something that predates you, too. So, there we are. Use language. Take control of it. It requires work, but... Education is worthwhile. Just for its own sake. Have an adequate day. I need to get further in the bag.